And welcome everyone to the University of St. Francis Bishop Darcy Stadium for today's soccer match between your University of St. Francis Cougars who enter today with a 1-2 and two record hosting the Siena Heights Saints out of the Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference who open or enter today with a 0-3 and three record. Back at Bishop Darcy Stadium tonight, the University of St. Francis men's soccer team aims to get back in the win column in a test with Siena Heights University. The Cougars lost 3-1 at Indiana Tech on Saturday night. The Saints are 0-3 and have scored one goal on the season. The Saints' lone goal came from Brent Rodden. He's got two, assist, or two points excuse me, on the season. USF's Tito Cuellar ranks number four in NAIA with four assists on the season. He also is the leader in the Crossroads League in that category. St. Francis opened the season back on August the 31st here at St. Francis and lost it 4-0 against Judson. Cougars bounced back strong on September the 3rd, winning 7-1 against Shawnee State here at Bishop, Dar Bishop Darcy Stadium but then lost on September the 7th, 1-4 against Missouri Baptist. Then this past Saturday at Indiana Tech, it was the Warriors, Indiana Tech winning it 3-1 against your Cougars. Indiana Tech also competes in the Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference along with the Siena Heights Saints. Folks will... Play a quick ad real quick, and we'll be back with you for the starting lineup and the national anthem. Grandpa taught me years ago, do business with people you know and who know you. That's why I joined Fort Financial Credit Union. Their staff knows I'm busy at college. They set me up with a checking account, a debit card, and an auto loan. With the Fort's mobile app, I can check balances, transfer money, and make my car payment. My grandparents loved doing business with the Fort, and I do too. My future, my family. My fort. Welcome back, folks. Just moments away from the kickoff. Taking a look at the Crossroads League standings. Currently, zero of the Crossroads League teams have played a conference match, but Bethel College is tied for number 29 ranking in NAIA. They have a 4-1-1 one one record. Spring Arbor University comes in at number 24 in the country. They're at 5 and 2. Goshen College at 4 and 2. Taylor University at 3, 1 and 2. Mount Vernon Naz University at 3 and 2. Huntington University at 2, 1 and 2. Grace College 2, 2 and 1. Indiana Wesleyan at 2 and 3. St. Francis at 1 and 2. Marion University at 1 and 4. They are the cellar dwellers in the Crossroads League. Looking at the Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference, Aquinas College is in first place with a 5-1 record. Madonna at 4-1, Lawrence Tech at 4-1, Indiana Tech at 3-1, Concordia Ann Arbor at 3-1, the University of Michigan Dearborn. They have a 3-1 record. LU coming in at 1-1-1, one, one, and one. University of Northwestern Ohio at 1-1-1, one, one, and one. Mary yeah, Grove at 2-3, and three. Cornerstone at 1-2, Siena Heights in last place with a 0-3 and three record, Rochester, Michigan Siena right in front of them Saints with a 1-4 and four record. Out of Adrian, Michigan, and your University of St. Francis Folks, we'll send it down to our PA announcer for the starting lineups. Today's starting lineup for the visiting Saints. Starting in goal, number double zero, Morgan Gardaki. Also starting in midfielder, number two, Matt Wilkie. Number eight, a defender, Kevin Stalzer. Number nine, Brett Rowdy, a forward. Number 10, Almaden Zelovic, a midfielder. Number 11, Matt Lentine, midfielder. 
Number 12, Dustin Gray, defender. Number 16, Rabar Khan, a midfielder. Number 23, Mitchell Stifler, a defender. Number 24, Enoch Sibobetson, a midfielder. And number 26, Braden Stephan, a defender. Head coach of the Saints, Thomas Goodman. And now for your University of St. Francis Cougars. Starting in goal for the Cougars, number double zero, Braden Kahn. Also starting, number three, midfielder Colin Barker. Number six, defender Lucas Tricasso. Number seven, Tito Cuellar, midfielder. Number eight, Ethan Vigario, midfielder. Number nine, Carlos Azencott, midfielder. Number 14, Julian Colantonio, a defender. Number 16, Peyton Smalley, defender. Number 18, Nate Condor, defender. And number 30, Michael McClellan, midfielder. Head coach of the Cougars, Mitch Ellison, assistant coach, Paco Castillo. We will pray and then we will play the national anthem. Let us pray, loving Lord, we thank you for all you have given us, the gift of this day, these athletes, coaches, officials, and fans. Keep us all safe today, free from harm and injury. Help us to love and respect each other and ourselves. And in the words of St. Francis, enlighten the darkness of our minds and hearts. Give us a right faith, a firm hope, and a perfect charity so that we may always and in all things act according to your holy will. Amen. And now our national anthem. Welcome back, folks. Just moments away from the kickoff here at Bishop Darcy Stadium. This is a non-conference matchup once again against Siena Heights out of the Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference and your University of St. Francis Cougars out of the Crossroads League. <laughs> After tonight, St. Francis will travel to take on IU East. That's this Saturday, September the 16th in Richmond, Indiana, 4.30 p.m. kickoff. Cougars will return home on Sunday, the following day, to take on Concordia Ann Arbor out of Michigan. That's a 2 p.m. kickoff. Then the following Saturday, we'll host Cincinnati Christian, a 7 p.m. kickoff here at Darcy Stadium. The Cougars open up Crossroads League play on September the 30th against Goshen College in Goshen, Indiana. The Maple Leafs currently with a four and two record and on a two match win streak. 
My name is Jeff Mahoney. I'll be calling out a few players for you throughout the match. I'm also running the camera here, so I'll try to make sure to get you some good video as a first priority. Center of the pitch is number nine for Siena Heights, Brent Rodden. He's got the only goal for Siena Heights on the season. Good deflection out to touch. That was number three for your Cougars, Colin Barker. Cougars wearing the dark uniforms today. A little bit easier to read the numbers. Nice flick up to Tito Cuellar. Touch along the sideline to number 14 for the University of St. Francis. That's Julian Colantonio. Free kick coming up here for Siena Heights. One minute into this match. Ball's going to be flicked forward and kicked out to touch by the Cougar defender. It's number six, Lucas Tricosis. With the throw in for Siena Heights is number 24. Deep into the box. Be headed out to touch by the Cougars. Number 24 is Enoch Tisbu Bexen. Another nice header, but that one's going to go through the end line for a corner kick. That was number four for your Cougars, Brian Jamie. Not too happy there giving up the corner is Jamie's. See if the Cougar defenders. We've got a left footed in swinger coming up from Siena Heights. That'll be headed away by St. Francis. Nice play out wide, one on one. Jamie's is out there for St. Francis, up to Cuellar. Cuellar's got some space, but he's gonna cut back and get some help from his teammate. Way are leaving it for number eight for St. Francis, Ethan Bagario. It's number nine up top for Siena Heights. 50 50 ball taken by the Saints, number 10. Elmedin Selovic, Jr., from Lansing, Michigan. In goal for Siena Heights is double zeros, Morgan Gardaki. Senior goalkeeper at 6'3", 220. Big guy. Fifty fifty once again is taken by number ten. Elmedin Selovic. Ball intended for Mikey McClellan, sophomore for St. Francis, number 30. That was number 14 for your Cougs, Colin Antonio. That's McClellan up top looking to turn the corner for a cross. Good defense there by the Saints. Throwing coming up here for Santa Heights, excuse me, for St. Francis. It'll be number six. Tricosis. Cuellar trying to use his speed, cut back. Nice find by the Cougs, but it's coughed up. Mikey McClellan up top. Mikey is 
second on the team in points scored with five for St. Francis. Two goals, one assist. Of course, Tito Cuellar has four assists on the season. Ranks him number four in NAIA. Cleland up top. It's going to be out to touch with the throw in over there for the Siena Heights is number eight, Kevin Stalzer. Thirty nine thirty remains here in the first half. Looks like that stalls are once again up top with the throw in. Number eight. Gets it into number 11, Matt Lentine. Another big Saint. 5'11, 165. Good job of switching the field there by the Cougs. That one's going to be picked up by Lentine. Nice ball. Does get away from number 12 from Siena Heights. Good job by the Cougar defense. Big scrum right there in the middle of the pitch. Ball be kicked out to touch by number 20. It's 26 for Siena Heights. Braden Steven. Approaching 37 minutes left here in the first half. Out to touch to your Cougars. We are nil nil here at Bishop Darcy Stadium. Ooh, right 
right off the crossbar. What a rip. Let's see if we can get that one played for you. I will come back to that. <laughs> nice play to Mikey McClellan. See the speed down there on the pitch. Cleland and Tito Cuellar, two of the faster soccer players in the Crossroads League. Oh, beautiful feed. And that is a goal. Cougars up 1-0. Mikey McClellan getting it started for St. Francis here. Cougars up over Siena Heights, 1-0. Nice goal there for Mikey McClellan. For Mikey, that'll be his third goal in the season. Take one more look at it. Nothing but the back of the net. For Michael McClellan. Cougs up. 1-0. Santa Heights comes right back, but a nice stop there by Braden Kahn. Tito Cuellar, quick first touch. A 
That'll roll through the end line for a corner kick. We got Cuellar and McClellan. Looks like it's going to be Mikey taking the corner. Long corner. And keeping it in for the Cougars was number 14. Julian Colantonio. Cuellar's down on the pitch. And we're going to stop the clock here. Clock stops at 29-21. So we'll get adjusted. Take another look at that goal. Stop time again. Push from behind as Jamie's hit the pitch. Braden Kahn with the free kick. Twenty-seven forty-four left to play. Cougars up one nil after Mikey McClellan's goal. That goal came with thirty-three minutes and twenty-one seconds left to play here in the first half. Just six minutes ago.
Taken down from behind, that was number three for St. Francis, Colin Barker. The ball fed towards the box. Nice job getting his foot on it, that was Cuellar. Big boot. Cuellar once again, one on four. Saints doing a good job getting back on defense. So that ball is taken by the Saints. Ball's out to touch St. Francis. Cougar still down on the pitch. It's like a high ankle sprain. We're gonna stop the clock. 24-26. Down on the pitch is number 14. Julian Colantonio, six foot three, 180 pounds from Ontario, Canada, went to Michael Power High School. Holy moly. Cougar's sleeping there for a second. Deflection goes off Khan and we got a goal. Not a good way to start off that whistle. We're tied up at ones. Looks like that's number 16 for Siena Heights. Pretty heated exchange there. I believe that was number 16 with the goal. Rabar Khan. 24-26. Nine minutes after Mikey McClellan gave the Cougars the go-ahead. At 1-0. Tied up at once. 
interesting play there as Sienna Heights just really caught St. Francis napping. Take a look here at this goal. Ref marks it ready for play. All the Cougars standing in front. Well, actually behind the Santa Heights player. Just a heads up play there for SHU. Obviously a little bit of confusion down there on the pitch as I don't believe the Cougs are ready for that ball to be live. That's gonna roll out for a corner kick. And we're gonna stop the clock again. It's not going to be a corner, but a goal kick. Free kick. Number 12, Justin Gray. Just a bit high. Con with the kick. Shot's going to go wide left. Stop the clock again. Quayar chasing it down. He kicked out to touch to St. Francis. That was Colin Barker, excuse me, up there. Quayar with throwing.
Boy, nice drag back, but the shot goes wide left. There for Santa Heights. 19 minutes remaining here in the first half. Gonna roll through the end line for a goal kick. We got a corner coming up. Mikey McClellan to take the corner. No, he will not. It's gonna be Ethan Vigario. Sixteen fifty four. Low liner right there, cleared away by the Saints. Nice ball. Way are right there, but so too was the keeper, Gardaki. Ball up top to McClellan. Mikey trying to slot that pass to Cuellar. A hold. Yeah, foul going to be called on that piece. Inside, 15 minutes left to play here in the first half. Tied at ones. Goal by Mikey McClellan. Goal was just eight minutes into the match. Nine minutes later. Off the free kick. Right at Gardaki. Nine minutes later, it was Rabar Khan with the game tire. Ooh, good sliding tackle. Picked up by the Saints.
Checking in for St. Francis is number 23, Tyler Laborde. Checking in is number 17 for Siena Heights, Carlos Palin. Carlos is in for number 24, Bexson. Two Cougars are in because checking out is number 16 and 6. Didn't catch that second number. Ball flicked forward towards Braden Kahn. He goes up and gets it. Checking in for Siena Heights is number 15, Uthman Batunda. Babatunda. Trouble. Babatunda is right there in front of Khan. But Khan's a big, strong goalie for the Cougars at 6'2", 170 pounds. Eleven thirty-three, tied at one here at Bishop Darcy Stadium. We're in the first half. Get a nice feed, but right into the paws of Gerdaki. Down to the pitch there is number two, Matt Wilkie. Easy shot there for Khan to Crow. Check. 
Checking in for Siena Heights now is number 22, Austin Siderlet. In for St. Francis, number five, Nick Kashia. Flip back right at Khan inside nine minutes play. Non conference matchup here between University of St. Francis Cougars and the Siena Heights Saints from Adrian, Michigan. Less than a two hour drive north from Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne, Indiana, located in the northeast corner of Indiana, about 15 miles away from Ohio. 45 minutes away from Michigan. Nice cut. And that will be kicked, I believe, out to touch to Siena Heights. Back in for Siena Heights, we have number 20. Remy Collard, number 13's in, Matt Schuster. Right footed shot, goes way high. Seven twenty left to play in the first half. Good looking shot at the net there. I should say he had a good look at it. That was Mikey McClellan there flicking it out to touch. Oh, handball. <laughs> I don't know that I've seen that. I just had her right back to number 26, Stefan. Cleland. That ball's cleared away. Tito Cuellar up top nearly snuck in a goal.
see Cuellar pretty savvy on top of the ball. Cleland just left it a little short. Idea there. Some good defense by the Saints. Three forty left to play, dark clouds hovering above. Cut back, but taken away by the Saints. Two thirty left to play. Mikey once again doing a good job of getting off that cross. Throwing coming up for the Cougars. Good sportsmanship between the two competitors. St. Francis, that's number seven. Uh, it's not Cuellar. I believe that was number six. Lucas Tricosis. Give it Cleland to take the free kick. Ooh, right off the crossbar. Huge shot there for the Cougs. That'll do it here for the first half of play. We are tied at one apiece.
birthing centers with everything you need for baby. Plus birth planners, expert physicians, midwives, and more for you. I'm a Parkview mom. You can be too. Learn more at parkviewmom.com. With active science, just the, the overall objective of having um, better physical activity along with uh, you know, gaining knowledge and wisdom, it, it aligns with everything I stand for with uh, clear eye view and having a, um, a, de a determined belief, you know, um, earned dreams and a focused vision. So I got Grace the Magnificent here with me. So we're gonna go through a little activity. What I want you to do is try to get past me, NFL linebacker. You get past me, I'll do 10 jumping jacks. But if I tag you, then you do 10 jumping jacks, and then we'll flip it around and see if I can get past you, all right? All right. <laughs> all right. Dude, 42. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Two. Count it out. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. My grandpa taught me years ago, do business with people you know and who know you. That's why I joined Fort Financial Credit Union. Their staff knows I'm busy at college. They set me up with a checking account, a debit card, and an auto loan. With the Fort's mobile app, I can check balances, transfer money, and make my car payment. My grandparents loved doing business with the Fort, and I do too. My future, my family, my Fort. How do you design one of the most advanced DRs in the country? At Parkview, we did it by focusing all our attention on you, the patient, by involving doctors and nurses in the design process, by creating quieter, more private spaces, and by leading the region in heart, stroke, and trauma care. This is not your typical emergency room, it's Parkview. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? Parkview, your partner in health. Friday Night Lights. Fort Wayne football from the comfort of your own home or when you're on the go. The same night the pigskin touches the end zone or is stopped dead in its tracks. Ten teams, five games, one website, summitcitysports.com. Live stream high school games, score updates, and news hub for all Fort Wayne area athletics. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Summit City Sports.
birthing centers with everything you need for baby. Plus birth planners, expert physicians, midwives, and more for you. I'm a Parkview mom. You can be too. Learn more at parkviewmom.com. With active science, just the, the overall objective of having um, better physical activity along with uh, you know, gaining knowledge and wisdom, it, it aligns with everything I stand for with uh, clear eye view and having a, um, a, de a determined belief, you know, um, earned dreams and a focused vision. So I got Grace the Magnificent here with me. So we're gonna go through a little activity. What I want you to do is try to get past me NFL linebacker. You get past me, I'll do 10 jumping jacks. But if I tag you, then you do 10 jumping jacks, and then we'll flip it around and see if I can get past you, all right? All right. <laughs> all right. Dude, 42. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Two. Count it out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Welcome back, everyone. As we're just moments away from the start of the second half. My name is Jeff Mahoney. I'm running the camera for you today, running the scoreboard, and trying to give you a little bit of play-by-play -play here. So enjoy the second half. We are tied at 1-1 here at Bishop Darcy Stadium, St. Francis and Siena Heights. Nice feed into the box. That shot right off the crossbar. I believe that was Colin Barker, number three. Nope, it was not. It was number five, Nick Cascia.
clock will be stopped here. 38-59. Balls kicked into the lake. Nice look at the save there by Gardaki. The 
stop the clock. 34-17. Whoa, once again quick start there clock's going it's the second time we've had one of those quick starts now the clock stopped okay not sure what's going on here 3404 left to play here in the second half 1-1 one, one. It's going to be a free kick for the Cougs. Just over the crossbar there. Beautiful cross and a good looking header. Santa Heights just misses out on the goal, the go ahead goal. Tied up at ones.
rain really starting to pick up here at Darcy Stadium. It is 12 for Siena Heights. Number 12 is Justin Gray. Looks like number two, Sam Schlegel is going to check in for the first time tonight. Sam's the junior forward at 6'3", 180. Seeing his first action of the night here in the second half. There's 28 minutes to play. Lego will not check in. There you go. Now the ref sees him. Schlegel is going to check in on the back line for Brian Jamies. Schlegel listed as a forward on the roster. Schlegel has two goals on the season and four points. Third on St. Francis' team in points scored.
yellow card's going to be pulled on the Cougar. Fight the deflection. Just misses the connection. Twenty-five, twenty-four on the clock. So Khan had Schlegel wide open right there at the touchline and kicked it right over his head. Schlegel was expecting the pass. Collision. Pop 
popping right up is I believe that's Colin Barker, number three. It was not, I believe it's number five then. Clock stops again. Looks like the start of the women's match will be delayed as they were set to start at 7 p.m.
Back in for St. Francis is number six, Lucas Tricosis. Good looking ball. That's a goal, nice slotting pass as the Cougars are gonna tie it up at two goals apiece. Tito Cuellar with the game tire.
16s come in for number nine, Christiana Heights. Tied up at twos, approaching six minutes left in the match. wide play are there in front of the goal Goal, left footed. Colin Barker with the go ahead goal for St. Francis. Barker, just a junior. Impressive looking goal there as the Cougs come back from a two to one deficit and take the lead three to two with 4.44 left on the clock. Number four. The Cougars are on fire here, folks. Goal number four of the match. Last goal by number nine, Tito Cuellar. Excuse me, number seven, Tito Cuellar.
stop the clock here. 153. Take another look at that goal here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And the University of St. Francis with a big comeback, four to two victory here at Fisher Place in the stadium. Stick around, fans. We've got women's soccer coming up. Congratulations, Cougars. St. Francis wins it four to two. 